Hi, my name's Sam. Uh, I'm going to be doing a whiskey review today. It's the third review in th three days. Um, today, this is going to be a uh, review of this whiskey here, the Limousin Rye. Uh, little bottle, picked it up at the liquor store sort of on a whim. Um, got about two, two glasses out of this bottle. Um, don't know much about it, uh, just saw it there, picked it up, uh, I think this is about six dollars. Um, rye whiskey, 46 uh, percent. It says here, um, owed, uh, aged with French oak staves. Um, my understanding is that staves are, uh, instead of having the barrel, or maybe they age it in a barrel, but they also put, um, staves of wood in the in the alcohol <clears throat> as well, um, I think to speed up the, the aging process. Um, I know some folks look down on it a bit. Um, I don't, I don't, you know, know one way or the other whether it's a good practice or a bad practice. Um, as far as rye whiskeys go, the only white rye whiskey that I've tried, to my knowledge, is the uh, the Bullet Rye, which I liked a lot. Um, that was a good, solid, uh, you know. Um, flavorful whiskey. Um, nothing extraordinary, but I, I liked it a lot. Um, pretty different from, from scotch uh, in terms of, you know, complexity and just sort of like the register of flavors that you get. Uh, you know, of course, notably like lack of pea, lack of smoke. Um, so, um, uh, have, you know, haven't let this sit out for too long because I don't know, you know, if that would accomplish too much. It's probably only been about five or seven minutes. Um, we'll see if it changes. Uh, so on the nose, um, it's a bit it's sort of whiny. Um, reminds me of like like a white wine, maybe. Uh, so maybe 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 it's the the French oak is um, similar to like an oat wine or something. Um, not a lot of complexity. Somewhat sweet, but not, not terribly sweet. Um, but yeah, that, that, uh, that sort of wine, I guess it's, I guess it, maybe it's just oak. Um, it's fairly dominant. Uh, not, not too much alcohol, which, you know, for 46% is, um, is, yeah, that's pretty nice. Usually, I, f I feel like when I when I s sniff a whiskey that is forty six percent, you you really get that kind of plume of hot alcohol in your nose if you haven't diluted it. Fairly light, reminds me of bourbon. A little bit of vanilla, but not much. But certainly, just in general, the flavors are a lot lighter, more subtle more, I, I think of them as just sort of being like higher um, than, than the ones you usually get in, in most scotches. A little bit of like estuary, a little bit of solvent, but you know, not, not terrible. Um, I could put a dash of water in here in a second. As far as palette goes, Not terribly complex. Um, Mouthfeel is pretty standard. Um, it doesn't last super long. Not much of a, you know, not a super long finish. Flavor wise, Hard to put a finger on. Um, it's pretty similar to the aroma. Put a dash of water in here. Let's see if it kind of opens things up a bit. <clears throat> I guess I'm pretty used to scotches, so I just don't really know what to look for 
in this quite as much. Uh, I know no rye whiskeys are usually referred to as being a bit spicier, at least when compared to bourbons. Um, I wouldn't say I pick that up specifically, but then again, I don't I don't drink a lot of bourbon. I don't drink a lot of rye, so I don't have too much to compare it to. Opening up a bit, actually. But I like brown sugar and that sort of that sort of um, range of flavors. And I I don't know if I mentioned this. Um, I think the distillery is Dancing Goat, and then it's call and it is their limousine rye because it's finished in limousine oak barrels. Uh, Should have mentioned that earlier. Hmm. The water did open it up a bit. It's a bit sweeter. Maybe I'll put some more water in. It's a bit sweeter and a bit um a bit more flavorful. Just going easy on it. I mean you can see from the color, it's fairly light. Um, which is uh, is nice. I guess I'm, I'm a little skittish of drowning it. Um, but it is, yeah, it's 40, 46%, so we'll see what happens. Um, and then, you know, a lot of times, um, you'll see reviews, they'll mention whether the, well, Scotch reviews, they'll mention whether it uh, says that it's colored or chill filtered. Um, I don't know if that's a practice in in other whiskeys. Um, no, no mention on here. Uh, reading the back now, it comes from Wisconsin, Cambridge, Wisconsin. That's good to know. Hmm. Yeah, it's opening up a bit. Um, maybe I'll put, just keep putting water in here until it drowns and see what happens. Warming up, a bit more depth to the flavors. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, one nice thing, not 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 very bitter, um, not very harsh. Definitely is opening up a bit. Um, one thing that I, I I think that I've read, I should probably do a bit more research on this. Um, but uh, people people tend um, reviewers tend to distinguish between uh, American oak and French oak. Uh, I think that American oak tends to be a bit more um, vanilla oriented. Um, and then whiskeys that are aged in French oak barrels, I think are a bit more fruity. Um, I can see that here. Uh, I hope I have that right. Maybe, maybe I don't. Um, compared to say, uh, bourbons or, um, scotches that are aged in, in old bourbon barrels, um, you really get a noticeable, noticeable, um, vanilla flavor. Like the Nisk, the, the, Nika coffee green that I um, that I reviewed the other day. I mean, it was like sticking your nose in a bottle of vanilla extract, and it, it's great. Um, if I go on a bit of a tangent, I, I was uh, listening to um, I think it was Wait Wait Don't Tell Me, and they had uh, they were in Kentucky, I think, and they um, brought in a woman who was a whis whiskey expert. She had like a PhD in chemistry. And they had a quiz with some of the folks on there. And one of the questions was, um, what element of the wood actually gives the flavor to the whiskey? Um, and they mentioned a couple different things. It was uh, the tannins in the wood, the cellulose, um, I think there's two other things. Um, and I got it wrong. I think everyone else on it, uh, on it got it wrong as well. Um, it turns out that the flavoring comes from um, 
uh, breakdown in, in the cellulose of the wood itself. I think it was a cellulose. Uh, or maybe it was the, and it was a lignans. It's a lignans in the wood are broken down into um, vanillin, which well, it was pretty mind boggling to me. Um, again, something else I should probably do some more research on. Uh, the lignin is like, if I remember right, is, is the actual woody part of the wood. Um, and I think it reacts with the alcohol and the oxygen and it turns into vanillin or some, 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 something very similar to vanillin. Give this another taste. <clears throat> Give it a bit more water. That was about another maybe half spoonful. Um, one thing, uh, the other day I got tickets to an event in Minnesota called uh, Whiskey on Ice. Um, the 2018 Whiskey on Ice. I think it's towards the end of April. Uh, they have a bunch of distillers, um, all, all whiskey distilleries coming to um, Bloomington. I think last year they had something like 70. Uh, a lot of scotch, a lot of bourbon. Um, pretty excited to go. Um, if you're going to be there, definitely let me know. be interesting to, to meet folks. Um, probably going to try, try a lot of different kinds of whiskey. Um, I don't think they actually sell any there, but certainly, you know, find something interesting to get after afterwards. Not much of a change that time. Certainly warming up, um, gaining some depth. Um, it's getting a little more, a little bit more interesting. A little bit more warmth. A little nutty. Nothing's sticking out like crazy, but um, I'm glad I put the water in, and I'm glad I give it a bit more time. I figured, I don't know, I saw this little bottle and I thought, you know, I didn't know what to expect. Um, little estuary, esters are kind of opening up a little bit. It's just kind of like a little... So a little bit of like this sort of tropical fruit, kind of banana flavor, sweet kind of fruitiness. All right, give me one more sip, see if anything sticks out. Hmm. Yeah, it's good. It's different from what I'm used to. Um, pretty mellow in general. Decent stuff. Okay. This is the uh, review of the Dancing Goat, uh, Limousin Oak, Rye Whiskey. Check it out. Thanks for watching. My name's Sam. This is a whiskey review.